Following that train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, nearly two weeks ago, West Virginians are wondering if they should be concerned about the toxic chemicals that the train was carrying. As of right now, the answer seems to be no, at least according to the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection. A DEP official spoke to 12 News earlier today about what they have observed following that chemical burn-off back on February 6th. West Virginia DEP also has a division of air quality, and we have two air monitors in the northern part of the state, both of which we've been monitoring very closely, neither of which are showing any indication of issues associated with the derailment. So from an air toxics perspective, I don't really think there's anything to worry about. And Mandaloria said that uh, the chemicals from the train have been identified in the Ohio River as far south as Parkersburg, but those levels are well below provisional safety guidelines set by that agency for toxic substances and disease registry. However, West Virginia American Water said on Sunday that its water monitoring and testing has not found any change to the water at the company's Ohio River intake near Huntington. Water officials say that they are enhancing treatment processes as a precautionary measure. And the company says that there are currently no drinking water advisories for its customers.